I think this is one of the most annoying things with the ManyChat live chat. This is when you already have a conversation in live chat and then your default reply triggers. And this is not what you want. If you have a conversation in live chat, you just want to pause your default reply. And this was actually a feature request on the ManyChat website and it has been upvoted over 20 times. So that's why I decided to make a video about this. So in this video, I will show you how we can pass the default reply when we have an ongoing conversation in live chat. Let's dive in. So here we have a default reply set up for the Facebook channel and it doesn't really matter which channel you're on because this will work for any channel. But it pretty much says, sorry, I don't know the answer to your question. So I'll like connect you to one of our customer support agents. And then if someone says, yes, please, then we'll say we will connect you with one of our support agents and we will mark the conversations open and notify the person that is assigned. So this is pretty standard. And, but now we want to deactivate this default reply when someone is in live chat. And we're going to do that with a tag. So if someone is in live chat, we're going to add the tag live chat. And if someone is not in live chat, live chat they won't have that tag. And then at the beginning of the default reply, we're going to add a condition that checks if someone has that tag live chat. And if they do have the tag live chat, we're not going to send the default reply. And if they don't have the tag live chat, we're going to send the default reply. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add another action when we open the conversation and we're going to add the tag live chat, live chat. And I already have that tag on my account. If you don't have it, you can just add it. And then at the beginning of the flow, we're going to start the flow with a condition. And then we're going to say, if the tag isn't live chat, then we're going to send them the default reply. So this means that if the tag is live chat, we're going to not send them anything. So then we're going to publish this flow and we're going to test this out. So I just type some gibberish here so that it will activate my default reply. Then it says, sorry, but I don't know, do not know the answer to your question. Shall I connect you to one of our customer support agents? And say, yes, please. Then it says, we will connect you with one of our support agents. And then we go to the uh, live chat here. You will actually see that the conversation has been opened. And then again, if I will type in some gibberish, this would normally trigger the default reply. But because I have that tag, as you can see here, I have to tag live chat, it will not trigger anything. The only thing that you need to do extra is that when your conversation is done, you actually need to remove the live chat tag. So this is something that you need to do manually. So when you're done with a certain conversation, you can just remove that tag. That will be it. You can click the conversation is closed. And that's it. That's how we can pass the default reply when we have an ongoing conversation in live chat. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on how you can use ManyChat, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.